Tensions were high today in Frankfurt as the Senate Judiciary Committee discussed House Bill 5, also known as the Safer Kentucky Act. The bill aims to crack down on crime in the Commonwealth. Opponents of the bill say it also criminalizes homelessness in the process. Two more versions of the bill were presented tonight. WKYT's Grayson Passmore takes a look at the bills and hears from both sides. It's our top story at 11. House Bill 5, the controversial crime bill, was heard before a Senate committee Tuesday, once again sparking hours of debate as both Senators Whitney Westerfield and John Schickel presented their proposed and very different changes to the Safer Kentucky Act, which, as written, would make illegal camping a crime. Making sure that we respond not just to, to penalize the conduct, but to respond to the root causes of their homelessness in the first place. Homelessness is causing our neighborhoods to spiral down. People are afraid to go conduct business. They're afraid to uh, go out and walk in the evening. Westerfield once guarantees that anyone unhoused would be referred services by an officer first. Schickel and Bill Sponsor say they believe public safety should be the first priority. First goal with the enforcing officers he's going to say you need to move along and if if the person chooses to be non-compliant then that's an entirely different situation i think this bill implies that homelessness is caused by substance use disorder and that is not always the case concerns of the wide sweeping bill don't stop there the bill proposes a three strikes measure meaning life in prison for violent offenders but some worry what constitutes a violent offender is now too broad if you burn a house down you rape a woman and then you kill somebody, you're going to prison for the rest of your life. There's nothing wrong with that. And you know who likes that the most? The person who would have been the fourth victim. HB 5 enhances penalties in many other areas like attempted murder and fentanyl distribution or the shopkeeper's privilege that lets a business owner use reasonable force if necessary to stop someone from stealing. Many who filled the crowded committee room, like Pam Thomas with Kentucky Center for Economic Policy, fear the state won't be able to afford the billions of dollars estimated over the next decade to house so many incarcerated people. This is a system that cannot handle the influx of new people if House Bill 5 passes in its current form. At the Capitol, Grayson Passmore, WKYT.